Hello guys, Nathan here, and today I'm going to be going over a relatively new product in the Linux world, and it's called Cuttlefish. Um, this was actually created as part of the Ubuntu app showdown, uh, which was, I believe, in about September of 2012, approximately it was when it was. Um, in order to install it, because it is not yet in the official repositories uh, for Ubuntu, it might be getting added by the time you see this video. It might be there. Uh, but currently, you do have to add it via the PPA. Um, if you know how to do that, great. Um, otherwise, I will be giving the link in the description here. So you can hop on over to this site and then copy and paste and just do it the easy way. Um, but if you do know how to add the PPAs, uh, let me just read it off to you here. Uh, his PPA is no need, the number 4, a nick, backslash, cuttlefish. Um, and once you add that to your system and update and install, you can run Cuttlefish. Now, Cuttlefish, according to him, is a program that uh, dynamically changes your Ubuntu desktop to react to the environment, which, eh, I don't know if that I would necessarily say that's what it actually is. Um, I'm just going to quick delete this, and then we're going to recreate that. Okay, so basically... You can define certain actions that'll happen on your computer, which will trigger something else to happen through Cuttlefish. Um, so to do that, we hit the new button, as I just did, and then we give it a name, which I'm going to do super cool action, just because I'm that kind of a cool person. Show notification. It'll give us a little notification box here in the corner. List an indicator menu, that previous page we were looking at. If you have it turned off, it won't show there, I believe is what that's for. Otherwise, it's down here. Um, when you click on that, it gives you a list. That's probably what it means. So you can have things not show there if you have that turned off. Activated by stimulus. If you don't have that checked to on, it won't do anything. So I don't even know why you have an option. Um, you have a lot of different things that happen here. Um, at a certain time of day, application starts or stops, Bluetooth activity, connecting to a networks, Start up, shut down, hello world watcher, which looks for a text file. Um, USB devices being plugged or unplugged, power cable, screen unlocked, disconnecting from a network, all sorts of stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're actually going to create a little something here that will automatically start a torrent program when I connect to a wireless network. So connecting to wireless LAN, okay. The SSID, uh, currently and I don't know if there'll ever be an option to connect when you connect to any to run this, um, but I connect to mine. So when I connect to my wireless network, I want this action to run. Also check on startup. This is for if you don't have Cuttlefish starting when you start your computer. When you do run Cuttlefish, you can have it check to see if you're connected to that wireless network and then it'll trigger that action. Because I do have Cuttlefish start when I start my computer, I don't need to turn that on. Then my reaction. So hit the little plus. And again, we have a big list of different things we can do. Activate Bluetooth, activate a reflex, activate wireless network, default printer, change the desktop background, change status for Pidgin, deactivate Bluetooth, hibernate, lock screen, mute volume, reboot, shut down, do all these things, unmute volume, wait. Uh, a lot of different options. Um, but what I want to do is start a program. So, I go start application. Okay. Then, where it gets even funner is, once this goes to okay, um, you can actually write your own plugins. There's like a half hour long video on YouTube that the creator of this program has that'll tell you how to write your own plugins for Cuttlefish. I have not watched it, um, so I don't know if it's easy or difficult, but... It is possible to do, so it's pretty much unlimited in uh, expandability and functionality. Uh, for some reason, this is running really slow right now. There we go. I want it to, when I connect to my wireless network, I want it to run. Where is it here? ST. I want it to start up transmission, which is my torrent client. Wait until application exits. That I don't know what it means. Um, you can turn it on or off. As far as I know, I just leave mine off. 
Um, so we do that. And then to save it, we just hit back. And ta-da! It's finished. Now, um, I have a few others here, and I'm just going to quickly tell you what I have. Um, I have a wallpaper slideshow program, uh, Cortina, I believe it's called. Um, and I have that start when I have my laptop plugged in. And when I unplug my laptop, that stops. I know it doesn't use a lot of power, but it changes a picture every five minutes. When I'm running on battery, I want to save all the battery for whatever I'm doing. I don't need the eye candy when I'm on battery. So, yeah, I have that turn off when I'm not running. Um, and then, as you'll notice here, I have three different torrent ones. Well, the super cool action is actually something I just created that I'll delete again. Um, there are two different networks I connect to. So, for each network, it needs to have its own setup. Um, the help just goes to his website. View doesn't even do anything. Come on. I want to pull up the preferences, so it's under edit. Preferences, here we go. Show notifications again in that top right corner. It'll tell you stuff. Auto start. It's for when you turn your computer on if you want Cuttlefish to run. Enable logging. I don't know exactly what that means, so I just have it turned off. Um, I would assume it'll log activity, and in some place you'll be able to see that. But because I really don't care, I just don't have it turned on. That's pretty much it. Um, again, in the description, I'll have the link to the PPA, and the home page, I think, is just the PPA too, but if it's different, I'll link to that as well. That pretty much wraps it up. Um, you can add new from the file, close, will minimize it to system tray, quit, actually exits it, and then it'll stop listening and running your reflexes. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching.